Stop whatever you're doing. Did you know DaVinci Resolve 20 is packed with professional features hidden right in the free version? Most editors overlook them. For the next few minutes, I'm gonna tell you six game-changing tricks that will speed up your workflow and make you wonder how anyone ever edited them without them. Get ready to make your workflow insanely faster and even more impressive. Let's go. First up, dynamic zoom. Now you probably see Mr. Alex text plugin, Magic Zoom, which does the same thing, but this does it for free and it's built into Resolve. Zero keyframes right on the edit page. Add an adjustment clip over whatever you wanna zoom in on. Stretch it as long as you need to. Click the adjustment clip, go up into the inspector and turn on dynamic zoom. By default, it's gonna start zoomed in and it's gonna zoom out. If you don't want that, hit swap. And then you have ease in, ease out, a couple of different options right there. And boom, you have a smooth keyframeless cinematic zoom right on the edit page. If you turn on the dynamic zoom overlay on the viewer, you can control how and where it zooms to. One box is where it's zooming to and one's where it starts, depending on if you have swap turned on or not. And it gets even better if you use it on the cut page, it has presets to zoom in left or to zoom in right. Still don't know why they haven't added this to the edit page. And that's it, in 15 seconds, you've got a nice clean cinematic zoom. Now let's talk about these built-in fusion templates. Let's go into fusion and open up the templates subfolder column this thing right here all right it's gonna freeze don't worry everybody's computer does that it doesn't matter how fast it is it's gonna take a second but once it's loaded it's packed full of awesome stuff check out these MoGraph templates you got a radar template it uses mass time speed notes I don't even know what's all in there but if you want to break it down man will you learn a lot about fusion and MoGraph there's also built-in chrome templates Use these with your 3D titles, and you got an easy chrome texture built right in the Resolve. Pretty freaking awesome. My favorite though is the particles. You got smoke, fog, it's got a couple of different presets, but what I really like is the glitter. Throw this into your 3D scene to add some depth to your animation. You can even change the colors. Mess with the lips a little bit, customize it any way you want to, but really, it's a great way to learn how the particle system works. Next up, we're back on the edit page. Resolve has some crazy built-in transitions. Check out the push transition. Now you might say, that's kind of lame, Sleeveless. Hear me out now, you gotta use your imagination. You can use this in so many different ways. You got push up, down, left, right, any way you want to, and it has built-in motion blur. You can use this on a text plus template and never have to go into Fusion and get a nice smooth animation right from the edit page. That is, of course, if you don't have easy effects, and if you want easy effects, located in the description down below. Next up is this transition called Disarrange. It's like a 3D glitch flip. You just have to try it out. It's in the free version of Resolve. And even better, you can open it in Fusion and see how it works and customize it even farther. Don't forget the border wipe. You can customize the color, the angle. The possibilities are really endless. You can make a lot of really neat transitions with a simple border wipe. I guess what I'm really saying is, don't count out Resolve's built-in tools. A lot of people will use Resolve every day and have no idea what's already there for free. Next up, trim edit mode. You ever cut down a clip and you're like, man, I wish I had just this part and not that part. Well, turn on trim edit mode and literally scroll through that clip and pick out the exact scene you want. And boom, no cutting, no moving. I use this constantly. Give it a try the next time you're cutting up a clip and you accidentally cut the wrong section out. It'll save you so much time. We all know how awesome speed ramping is with the new keyframe panel. But you ever just mess with the regular old speed change? Right click, change the percentage, make sure pitch correction is on, and you can do some really cool stuff with this. My favorite thing to do is to speed up sound effects. When they're too long, I'll up it 200%, drop it right down, fits perfectly in place, and it's the exact same sounding sound effect that I was looking for to begin with. Next up is batch rendering. Say you got a long form video and you're cutting down the shorts. Well, you've edited all six shorts, but now you gotta render them each out one by one. Well, you don't. Use I and O to set in and out points on the deliver page. Set up your settings, hit add to render. Clear your points and do it for the next short. And do this for as many shorts as you need. Once they're all in the queue, 
go up to the top, click it, hit render all. It will render all of your shorts in order or videos. They don't have to be shorts. You just save yourself a lot of time. You don't have to go in there and render each one out individually. And that's a wrap. Powerful features built right into the free version of Visual Resolve. If you learned something from this video, hit that like button. If you want to learn more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.